Hello, welcome to Wanda's Cafe. I'm doing something new today, and uh, this is my first time uh, doing a live show and a live call-in show. So, and one of the things we're going to talk about is first, anyway. So this is, uh, I think, appropriate that uh, we're going to do the first live for Wanda's Cafe and the first call-in show for Wanda's Cafe. Today we're going to talk about something that um, I I do trainings and seminars and I'm and I told you sometimes I would be doing uh, workshops or trainings on the show because I because we always do the things that we enjoy doing best and one of the uh, things I'm working on is a book that goes along with a seminar that I do uh, dealing with the f first and only minority either in the workplace in a group or an organization now. My, these, uh, the, the things that I do, it, t it takes several hours, so 30 minutes we're just going to just briefly talk about it, but um, sometimes we think of ourselves as, uh, oh, they are the minority, but actually all of us have to have th these survival techniques. Also the management needs to know when, they, when there is a minority in their environment or if it's a Pre president of a company or something, and they can see this minority is uh, being treated a little differently. Uh, when I say, have you ever been a minority? I can tell you that most all of us have at least one time been a minority. Because a minority is what? A person who is different. We've all been in an environment where we were the, diff the different person, either the short one or the fat one, or the handicapped, or something of that nature. So what I would like for you, for us to do is to go ahead and um, I'm going to ask you, you can join me in working with this if you'd like, uh, but if for young people, I first I start off with what the young people would be doing. And what I would like for, the, for you to do is if you got time, run, grab a bag of apples and if, grab a couple of other pieces of fruit, but main thing, grab a bag of apples first. And I'm going to place some apples on the table. This is the one that I start off with young people, but with the uh, business and professional people, uh, I would be working with other tools like letters or other types of tools. Um, one of the things that um, I have done is I teach international business protocol where um, it can range from just plain introductions to uh, personnel development and personnel training. And one of the most important things in a corporation is to identify um, problems that might arise and see if we can't uh, alleviate them before they happen. And this is a simple uh, demonstration of how it can ha happen without going into details. Um, I was a business owner for a number of years, and as a matter of fact, I was selected in 1988 as one of the top 100 business and professional women in the nation. So we're talking about, th this is a list of firsts. We're talking about a list of firsts, I was on Bill Cosby, uh, You Bet Your Life show, because he uh, it was impressed with my list of firsts, the first black stewardess, and uh, first uh, just about everything I've done with talent agency in, in the Northern California area. So I've had to uh, quote, unquote, be the only minority quite a few times. So with the apples, what I'd like for you to do, since it's only 30 minutes, we're going to go as quickly as possible. And if you'd like to call, um, y if you'd like to give me a call, please go ahead, give me a call. At, um, at the number that uh, listed there, and I hopefully I won't be, I can go back and forth uh, and answer your question. What I'd like for you to do with your apples is to take a look at your apples. This is what I have the kids to do. I want you to take a look at your apples, and I want you to um, study your apple. Now, some apples may have a leaf, some may have a stem, some may have a slight bruise, and then I have the students put the apples back in the bunch. And if you are the only person there, you might want to name all your apples and look at the apples and see that they're different. There's a little lump there on one of them. So what you do when you put it back into the bunch, 
you have the people go and select their apple. And no matter what, they will be able to identify their apple. Uh, it's rare that I have the group, no matter how large the group, that they don't identify their apple. Now, what, I, what this exercise tells all of the students is that these apples are different, but they're still apples. We're all one. We are all apples, a little different, and I want you to appreciate the difference, but we're all apples. And this is as far as usually I go with the students. But let's do something a little different. I want to place into the apple mix a green apple. What happens to the green apple when the green apple is placed into the mix? It becomes, it has a spotlight on it. Everybody in the group began to notice the green apple. Then they start getting together talking about the green apple. Wonder where the green apple lives? Wonder why it wants to move into my neighborhood? You, don't they see, doesn't, he, uh, doesn't that green apple see that we're all red apples? D or uh, I wonder if it's married or believe in being married or wonder what kind of food they eat. So what happens here is that you have got now red apples and green apples, but this one is different. So this could be you, could be the handicapped person. It has nothing to do with, because they are a minority, as what is traditionally called a minority. This person is uh, black or Asian. This person could be handicapped, or this person could be Caucasian or white and is in an a all black teaching environment. Sometimes I've had uh, teachers who may go into a all Hispanic or predominantly Hispanic environment and that kind of thing. So no matter what happens, when you enter into that environment, it's very difficult to become one of those. Very difficult. And what the survival technique, there are about six universal responses. And one of the survival technique I'm talking about, in which we won't have time to go into all six of them, is the apple, the green apple has to, uh, the green apple has to um, uh, f figure a way to mix in. The red apple management has a responsibility to make sure that the green apple fits in. One of the things that corporate uh, America, the number one killer in corporate America, can anyone tell me what that is? If you're in the group, tell me what the number one killer of corporate America is. That number one killer is gossip. And gossip usually this person, this green apple, is the one that basically suffers more from the style of gossip. A lot of integrity of the green apple is lost. Because if you're talking about the green apple as though you, um, as though the green apple is really not a, a person that fits in, you might say a lot of things that might not be quite uh, appropriate or quite uh, effective for the future of that uh, of that green apple. So what management has to do is to know this and to identify it and help assist uh, staff or if you're in an organization or a group if the person is handicapped you don't want them to say well she's handicapped she doesn't belong here why, why don't you go join a handicapped group. So what you would do is that those universal responses, uh, which it would take a lot of training to go through those responses, but isn't it interesting how that apple, no matter where we have placed that apple, it continues to stand out. So what I would like for, you to, like for us to do at this point is that I want you to take a look at what happens and the dynamics of what happens when we add another piece of fruit. 
Now, you would think the same dynamics occur when you uh, add the same, another type of fruit. But basically, there, it does happen, but there is another dynamic that happens with the green apple and the red apples. One of the things that I've learned as usually being the only minority uh, in an en environment is that it takes more time for me to qualify myself most of the time uh, than it does others. It takes uh, me to be aware of my environment and my surroundings than others may have to do. It causes me to have to take time to uh, work through these red apples, work through and with these red apples in getting understanding about me being a green apple. Because while the red apple and all of the red apples are busy going along and sharing with each other, experiences, opportunities. This red apple is telling this red apple that, oh, there's a promotion coming up, or there's an appointment to this particular uh, position coming up, or let's go to the party Friday night. And so therefore, they're usually, almost all the time, uh, interacting and actually afraid of this green apple to interact with it. What happens, the green apple, when they do need a green apple, they ask the green apple to participate and be part of. And what happens is that green apple now becomes a spokesperson for all the other green apples. When in fact that they didn't go into that environment to be a spokesperson, that's not what they're paid to get to do but they wind up being the speaker or the spokesperson for all little green apples. And while the others are not required to take the time out of their work day or out of their organizational skills to be a spokesperson for all the red apples, but the green apple has an extra burden to be a spokesperson. And if the green apple says, I don't want to be a spokesperson, I just want to be a little green apple. What happens is there are other categories that the green apple is placed in, which they're having to co they have to concentrate on trying to fit in with the other green, uh, with the red apples. Oh, maybe all red apples live in a house on the hill, and this green apple may live in the house in the valley. Well, that makes them totally different again. So this green apple is busy trying to introduce himself that houses in the valley are just as good as the houses on the hill. Uh, but because the green apple lives in the valley, it's different. It just shows another way of being different. Now, what happened to the uh, uh, green apple when a another piece of fruit enters the picture. What happens? Well, you think, well, okay, then it gets better in that environment. Well, it does. There, I always say there's safety in numbers, and it does get better with that group in that environment. Uh, but there are still some other things that happen to this green apple. It starts to become one of them. It will say, oh, but we're all apples. He's an orange. I wonder why he wants to move into our neighborhood or why he wants to work with us. Why don't he go work uh, over someplace else where all the other oranges work? Or why don't he join a group that has to deal with oranges? Because we're apples. He becomes what it, black people refer to as an Uncle Tom. He is going to side with the red apples, and he's going to try for promotional purposes or acceptance purposes to be as much of a red apple as he possibly can, instead of being an individual and being a green apple. He becomes one of the 
red apples. But never will he be accepted as a red apple, but he tries. So what happens to the orange that steps into the place, into the environment? The orange is now having to do the same thing that the green apple had to do. And they're asking, well, now, I know he see, he's not an apple at all. He's an orange, and he has, uh, he has orange blood instead of, you know, white uh, 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 blood or whatever. He has uh, skin that peels off. Ours, we have to take a knife and peel off. It, it, there is just so many dynamics that go into what happens when that other fruit has now entered into the picture. So you can see, you can make this fruit, could be um, uh, African American, this one could be white, and this one could be Chinese. It doesn't matter, we, this one we will automatically become the African American when the orange walks in. So that's what happens, the dynamics, they start climbing together. So management really, whenever they start, there with those, the main thing are those universal responses, which I really wish I had time to teach you, but the main thing that the management needs to know are those universal responses, because the response to each and every one of the, uh, the newcomer, and the, the response is, this one is busy doing something to defend himself, or to become part of, these are doing things to remain who they are and in their comfort zone because we all are comfortable where we are. One of the things I always say that they say affirmative action, talk about that, but they really need it because we as, a human, be as human beings like to be comfortable with who the uh, people that we're around and the environment that we're in. So management, needs to know how to ident help identify. So when the green apple says, I'm having trouble getting promotions because they're telling each other about the promotions and that type of thing, it, 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 it is a responsibility for management. Now the orange, when it comes into that environment, it has to now try to fight it or, or become accepted by not only the green apples, the green apples, but it has to become accepted by the red apples as well. So what does it do? It goes through those universal responses, trying to locate itself in those categories, the six categories that I'm talking about. It, it has to face one of those. The green apple as well as the orange apple has to be fit into one of those until there are a great number of green apples and a great number of oranges. That is why diversity in the workplace, in the schools, and in an environment of uh, organizational or groups or in, in a country such as America, the reason why America is so great is because it has done what it can do to make sure that they all fit in, but we must continue to do that. Now one of the things that I also like to throw in is another piece of fruit, and this piece of fruit, what does it do? It doesn't have to argue with anything because there's so many different fruits. Now we've got a beautiful, beautiful green American salad. Now, why is a salad so important? Because if you had a fruit a salad of just apples, it would be a horrible salad. If you had a ap salad of just or red apples and green apples, eh, get a little bit better. You get oranges and bananas and grapes and all kinds of fruits together, then you, you've got yourself a great great salad. Now, one of the things that this also tells you is that we identify, when you talk with people and you share with people, uh, it also helps you with communication. Because when you communicate with uh, the people, you don't want to communicate with them with, oh, well, I, one of the things I, I, I've done in testing uh, people, particularly young people, 
uh, or just even business and professional people, is uh, when do you realize, this has been minority people in, in particular, when is it that you realize or think about being a minority? And autumn, it is 99% of the time, the answer is when I talk to someone else. It's not something they think about normally. And you know why? Because these green, red apples are busy staying red apples, and they'll ask me about things that are stereotypically green apples. I can hold a conversation with a non-green, just pretend I'm a green apple. And I can hold a conversation with someone about anything. And their frame of reference is automatically a green apple re re uh, 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 response. Oh, well, didn't all, doesn't all green apples um, go to church on Sunday? Well, you know, I went to church on Sunday. I don't want you to talk to me about what you think about where I came from. I want you to ask me, do you go to church on Sunday? I want you to say to me, um, we all go to church, I go to church on Sunday. What, do you go to church on Sunday? As though you were talking to other red apples. Remember that you, if you don't see a green apple, it isn't a green apple you're talking to. If you talk to it as though you were talking to the other green apples, it's so much easier. It does not have, the, the green apple does not have the effect at that point of having to uh, first study where you're coming from. And if you've never had the training, you don't identify that that red apple is drawing from a stereotype that might not have, may not have anything to do with the truth, may not have anything to do with any experiences you've had. We are all products of our experiences. I do a test that asks people about their experience, where do, what are they a product of? Is it your life experience, your upbringing, your values, your organizations that you belong to, uh, expectations that you have about yourself, culture, um, mm, just um, all kinds of things, uh, your environment, you know, those types of things. And, and I want to, I ask them is what, which ones of those things that uh, really do they believe they're a product of? And of course the media is probably one of the biggest uh, environmental influences. The media, particularly for me personally, uh, in these trainings I really don't, I like to share myself a little bit because sometimes people identify more if the person that they, um, that are talking to them uh, have really experienced these things. The only effect, the major effect that the media has is me being a green apple having to respond to the red apples uh, based on the stereotype that the media has presented uh, to me, for me. In other words, when I see people or talk to people, I prefer to talk to them as though they have, they're not red, green, they're not oranges, they are just that next person that I have to talk with, identify with, work with, share with, and to do projects with. One of the things that I think that uh, for me the uh, most influential thing for me has been my life experiences because I have lived, I always say, like Les Brown says, the last chapter of my life isn't written yet and this one is going to be a box office hit. So I'm working on the box office hit, I'm writing on it now, and one of the things that's going to be, that I'm doing to do that is to share some of the trainings and things that I've had, uh, that I've done uh, in, in, in writings, in books, so that other people can see them. Um, but when I, the experiences that I've had have been so culturally diverse that, and so broad in nature from court reporting to uh, owning a top modeling school and talent agency to traveling around the world, um, that has an influence. So when I talk to people, I automatically, when they talk to me, I've probably seen or experienced or know someone who has experienced what they're talking about. So I don't draw from it a color thing, a racial thing, 
or an upbringing thing, or that's the way, and I use these terms, they, the terms they, um, I don't like the term, that's the way they think, that's the way they do, it is a they thing, it is a we thing. This is the way this human being thinks. Because within cultural, and see some people refer to their uh, uh, product as cultural because they were raised in a singular cultural. And the word culture bothers me and I have a whole training on the word culture and ethnicity and st because I think more nowadays we are becoming a one world. That's why uh, we have the international protocol trainings and things because we, this is a one world society. And what I would like for us to stop doing is putting everybody in a category of a green apple, an orange, and just culture is traditions. And within cultures, there are also traditions. So therefore, that person may not have the experience of the majority of these. This apple may have lived in the valley, and these apples may have lived in a barrio. So we're talking, uh, don't automatically assume anything. So what we need to do is remember that we are all a product of not our culture, not of our, our life experiences, not of our self-expectations, because with my parents, expectation was the key word, and therefore I had high expectations. The key is not expectations, it's not values, it's not media, it's not organization. Those, uh, the bottom line to those, to what we are a product of, I want us to always remember when we talk and share with people is that we are product of each and every one of those environments. And it's wonderful that in America we can have all types of fruit working together, living together, being friends together, being married together, having children together. It is a salad here in America. And I think 911 was one of the things that proved that we are a salad. It is a wonderful salad because we fight and stick together. Thank you, and I'll see you next time on Wanda's Cafe.